I'm your host, Anika Chung. Welcome to my channel, the highly anticipated Marvel film, Thor Love and Thunder release on July 8th as a part of the phase four of the MCU with a budget of 250 million, made over 600 million in box office worldwide, becoming the seventh highest grossing film of this year indeed. This is directed by Taika Waititi and it's an all-star cast starring Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Christian Bale, Tessa Thompson, and the talented Russell Crowe. After the ordeal of Thanos, snapping the world away with the Infinity Stones, Thor lost his friends, family, brother Loki, and the final battle between Thor and Thanos, it was kind of a bittersweet end. But I will say, Thor and his axe Stormbreaker are truly powerful in the MCU. Did you guys see in that final scene with him and Thanos? Stormbreaker went through those Infinity Stones just like that. I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> Thor embarked on a journey unlike anything he's ever faced, a quest for inner peace. However, his retirement gets interrupted by Gore, the god of Butcher, a galactic killer who seeks the extinction of the gods. To combat the threat, Thor enlists the help of King Valkyrie, Korg, his ex-girlfriend Jane Foster, and to his surprise, surprisingly wields his magical hammer. Together, they set out on a harrowing cosmetic adventure to uncover the mystery of the god Butcher's vengeance. Let's talk about it. No, this was truly an enjoyable film in some ways. It felt different from most other MCU films, and while it didn't turn out to be as groundbreaking to critics as its predecessor, it definitely proved to be the perfect superhero movie for the summer. Other critics say that it didn't have enough story, but let me tell you what it lacks in stellar story. More than makes up for the action, humor, outstanding visuals, pop culture, references, cameos, overall, the creativity. And I was a little bit surprised not seeing Gore do as much crazy butchering the stuff on screen. But y'all, I gotta say, man, Christian Bale, he impressed me as Gore, the God Butcher. One of the best Marvel comic villains. Seeing him portray a villain was definitely a breath of fresh air. I loved him in that dark night, but his performance was phenomenal in this film. Russell Crowe as Zeus was cool. His character was kind of like, you know, selfish, entitled, but I feel like they could have actually improved the character of Zeus. I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> if I can change one thing from this Marvel film, it would be Natalie Portman's character, Jane Foster. I wish they found a cure for her disease and she would live in New Asgard with Thor, eventually get married, and then of course, like team up with Thor on many amazing adventures and just save the world. That would be my alternate favorite scene. If you had the opportunity to improve the film, what would you improve? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth were fantastic in this film. I love their chemistry on screen. Very entertaining. The fighting scenes were cool. And one of my favorite scenes was when Thor thought his Stormbreaker came back to him and found out it belongs to Lady Thor, which is revealed to be Jane Foster. She looks fantastic in her new outfit. It's a good thing that she actually came to New Asgard. The hammer was actually waiting for her, and I believe this was her destiny. But it's sad what happened to her. I thought she was going to be the next leading lady or partnered up with Thor in the next film. Truly, I did thought. Well, at least she made it to Valhalla with the other cool gods. So I'm excited to see what will be next for her. And the big reveal of the film was Hercules hinting to be facing Thor in the future. That got me excited. Overall, this is a heart-pounding, entertaining film. It tells a story about love, sacrifice, and heroism in a spectacular, adventurous way. Seriously, who is up for seeing Hercules versus Thor? I am. And I cannot forget, most of all, the music score and the classic 80s and 90s rock. I was feeling the music. Each Marvel film, TV series, and animated I've seen so far shows how truly huge the multiverse is. And personally, I believe the multiverse does exist in another galaxy. This universe is full of mysteries, and I remember watching Ancient Aliens about superheroes and aliens. You truly never know what these astronauts see out there in the galaxy. That is my two cents. If there is a Thor out there, that's awesome. I give Thor Love and Thunder four stars. What you guys think about the movie? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next motion picture movie reviews. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, I'll see you next time in the pictures. Cheers, and that is a wrap. There, guys, that's all, folks. Mjolnir. Jane? I was going to say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. She's my 
first bad guy. <laughs>